struck me when you were talking about finishing and always getting to the next thing, how ultimately that does lead to death. We're in a hurry. We're rushing, rushing, rushing. And at least for this incarnation, that's the final act. So if we keep rushing ahead, we think maybe it'll be better, perhaps, or at least it'll be done. But that's the destination right there. So our challenge is to come back, to come back. So some of the tools you offered were awareness, attention, presence. I guess everybody, all of us know that feeling of rushing to the next thing. You, Dennis mentioned retreats and experiencing the feeling of feeling like the sitting meditation period has been long enough waiting for that chukpi to be hit so we can get up and walk. And then we walk for a while and we'll look at that's this is now getting a little too long. Where's that chukpi going to be hit so we can sit again? And then we sit again, and that process just goes over and over and over again. Not about bad or good, just the reality of our situation. So, we have this simple question, what are we doing right now? And we can apply that question at any point to stop and to investigate and to catch ourselves back where we are. There's a, a phrase in Buddhism that sometimes gets used, and it's called mental formations. And a mental formation is, is in a sense, an accumulation of experience that hardens into a way of perceiving or a way of seeing the world. I suppose a simpler word for it is conditioning. But if we pay attention to our lives, if we pay attention to our minds and our hearts, we can start to witness the conditioning. We can start to witness what those mental formations are like and where they lead us. So, again, very simply put, our practice is about observation. It's like, even in our meditation, moving from the perspective of thinking to the perspective of, of observation. So rather than asking the question, why is it? We ask, what is it? When you ask the question, why is it? You go into the mind and into thinking. It's this way because of this. And it's a wonderful way to pursue science. You raise these questions. You these ideas, you, you search for a resolution, you study it. But the science that we're using in our practice is just simply the science of observation. We're not so much trying to figure it out as just see it. Just experience it. Just observe it. So even in the course of meditation, when our minds are drifting off, it's not a question of why is it drifting off, it's where is it drifting? What is happening right now? When we have an experience of impatience, it's not why am I impatient, it's what is this impatient? So, where Dogen Zen Master said to study Buddhism is to study the self, this is the kind of self study that we're talking about. It's observing, watching, becoming familiar with.